What's up, team? Welcome to the video. I'm kind of nervous to make this video um, because I don't know if this idea is so outrageous and so like in my own head and so out there that anyone can even relate or if it even makes sense. Um, but let's let's get into it. So Hunter S. Thompson, who is an author, I only know of him because Joe Rogan retweeted an article that he wrote way back in the 30s or 40s. He was 20 years old and he was giving his buddy advice. His buddy asked him for advice and he wrote this letter saying like, you know, who am I to give advice, but I'll give it my best shot since you're my friend and you're asking me. Um, and that's where the whole every decision we make, we're either floating with the tide or swimming against the current. Like that's where that came from was that letter. Uh, in there, he also quotes Shakespeare in Hamlet. Um, and like, takes the quote out of context and I'm going to take it even further out of context but the the quote to be or not to be that is the question whether it is nobler in the mind to I'm going to butcher but I'm put it on the screen suffer the suffer the pain of slings and arrows or take arms against a sea of troubles and and basically how I'm interpreting that is um When you're, you have two decisions, you can see yourself as a victim, right? And you can identify with other victims and you can take solace in the fact that you're victims together. Um, and you can, you know, I have bad genetics. I, whatever, whatever the thing is, you, you can hang on to that and you can like be miserable with other people and enjoy that and take arms against the sea of troubles. It could be like money troubles, rent is so expensive, taxes are so high, like, can you believe they raised the rate of the subway, like, like, whatever those troubles are, or you can get out, and you can get ahead of the curve, and you can work, um, and you, and you can not give a shit about, like, you know what, my genetics suck, I'm never gonna have, a, like, a six-pack, six-pack, but I can be leaner than I am right now, I'm, my BMR might be 300 calories lower per day than someone else with equal stats, but you know what, I'm going to work hard. Like, I can't change that. I can't change the fact that, like, I'm going to have to work harder than that person to get equal results. So I'm just going to work harder than that person. Like, like what other option do I have? It's either complain about it and be like, yeah, and by the way, I have good genetics. <laughs> so, like, that, that isn't an example that I can identify with, but it's one that I've seen. Um, everything. Like, so much right now leading up to presidential election in America like so much if this person gets elected if that person gets elected like it's like I don't give a shit who gets elected because it's not going to change my life at all I don't care if I pay 20% tax or 70% tax because it's not going to change my life at all because the competition's doing the exact same thing I'm never going to waste time like thinking about that or complaining about those things that are outside of my control and uh this is, it's not, this isn't like a motivational hypey, like you should change. You should think like this. It's, it's really, it's just like what I feel in my gut and an outlook that I have that, um, I, I just struggle to even see the other side of the coin. I should like given one life, given like this could be it. I struggle to see why anyone would waste time complaining about what's on CNN.com. I struggle why anyone would waste time complaining about the checkout line was so long. Can you believe I got a flat tire? Can you believe insurance rates went up after an accident happened? It's like, yeah, that's how it works. Like, and by the way, even if it is unfair, it's unfair. And it is, and it's reality. Like, accept it and, like, if you want to change it, change it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's two mindsets. Victim mentality, take comfort in numbers against that thing, or go change it. Rent what up, work more hours. <laughs> like, it's just, you can accept reality and you can put the work in and, and make it different. Um, and the, the slings and arrows portion of that comes from a, a place of, look, every single day for the last year, I've gotten at least one mean tweet or email or Facebook comment or YouTube comment or like somewhere in the social media sphere, someone has said something mean about me. And never once have I seen that and been like, oh, that doesn't affect me at all. I'm completely immune to that. 
like I'm, I'm a human being and, and it doesn't happen to like the point where I'm, I'm immune to it or maybe I'm just soft, one of the two. But like those, it's the price that I'm paying for putting myself out there and for taking the upside. It's, it's, it's the slings and the arrows that are worth it because I don't ever want to like be in the, on the other side. I don't want to be in the victim mindset. I don't want to be in the like, can you believe this guy? Is, is making money on online coaching when, you know, I can bench 500 pounds back in my day and, and uh, I should have online coaching clients. It's like, I never want to be that person in any aspect of life. Um, so I'm, I'm all about taking the slings and arrows. It reminds me of actually something my good friend and mentor, John Romanello, told me like very early on in our relationship when he was like, um, life is all about trading one set of problems for another set of problems. And, uh, he was like, I think he was describing a situation where he made a physique transformation when he first got into strength training, 18, 19, 20 years old, girls weren't super into him. And like, that was a problem. Um, and then he gets jacked and gets all this attention from women. And he's like, but I was like mad because I was like, that's so shallow. Like I, nothing about me has changed. My interests haven't changed. Like who I am hasn't changed. Like, why are they into me now? It's just because I have a good physique. And like that was in, he was trading one set of problems for another, albeit most dudes would probably argue a better set of problems, but like it, it reminds me of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just think that, uh, if you take one thing from this, it's, Try to be super honest with yourself and recognize if or when you're playing the victim a little bit in your mind, because we all do it to, to some degree, to varying degrees, um, and, and do your best just to accept what is really happening. Focus on what you can change and what you can control. Like, if, if, I, if I really, really wanted to, I could have gotten into politics and I could have tried to, like, climb the ladder. I could have tried to really make a difference, but because that isn't my game and I can't control that, I'm going to spend no time stressing or worrying about the things I like or dislike in that arena. Just like focus on what you can control, try to recognize and try not to play that victim role. And, uh, and yeah, a little Shakespeare slings and arrows. I'm super into that saying it's completely out of context, by the way, any, any literary, any English major, any Hamlet fans are going to be like, you're completely botching it. I know. I know I am, but I'm just, I'm using it for the, the literary device. All right. Hit the like button. If you liked this scenic abandoned building, parking lot, suburb life that I'm in, industrial complex, I'll see you guys tomorrow.